boys we've done it i finally found the golden recipe to success boys the tactics and instructions to get you that rank one on foot champs to get you to that elite division that so many of you are grinding for these are the tactics man that are gonna get your players finally moving properly get the passes going and get in the ball in the back of the net boys take a look at these instructions and tactics for the big fat w's are you ready boys are you ready for some cool storm cool storm tactics uh i believe boys i believe that we're gonna go for a 45 width and uh, like a cheeky little 58 depth because that's what we're about balanced build up play yeah and then we're gonna do some direct passing or direct passing with we're gonna tuck them in a bit boys tuck them in a bit tuck them in a bit i want to play pass pass not out on the wing seven two two just standard uh formations all right this, the instructions is where it gets tasty right so the way i see this going is ferran torres you are the fast brother so you'll be getting in behind all right with stay forward crespo you can be the target man because you seem like a little bit of a baller stay central in that yeah just your basic support bro don't worry about that Kimmich I want you to cover center stay back chill and you can be aggressive G all right you need to always cut inside come back on defense and come short get into the box yep get into the box both wingers I want them to play on the inside I don't want them to play long so I want them to come back, cut inside, come short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the tactics. And then everyone else can be stay back, overlap, stay back, overlap, stay back, aggressive, aggressive, come for crosses. Bro, this thing already knows. Now, let's quickly take a look at exactly what kind of movement you should expect from your players when you use my tactics and instructions that I show you in this video. I want you to pay close attention to what the left mid and the right mid are doing when you give them cut inside and come short. So let's take a look at their movement here. So, what you've got is all of the midfielders are very close to one another. So, what? pay attention to Neymar's runs and also pay attention to Ferran Torres and George Best. As the ball advances, everyone is close to one another. I'm just dribbling with the ball in random circles so you can see kind of where the movement is. I'll pause it once more. Neymar, he is very, he's come short here. This is what cut inside and coming short is. He'll always stay close to the guy that's with the ball to provide an easy passing option. George Best and Ferran Torres are also making runs in close proximity to the guy with the ball. And then watch how this build up play easily turns into a goal pass 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 bit of movement see that cut inside boys he kept cut inside and made his run on the inside of the fullback that's what it means if your if your left mid and right mids are not on cut inside they would go around the fullbacks usually but he's going through the middle of the fullback and the center back and you'll find that they get a lot of goals that way and then neymar just slots this in yes come on yeah, what are you for? And as you can see, I'm happy about that. <laughs> okay, another example here. So I'm going to show you scenarios of what would happen in your matches. A lot of the times you'll win the ball at the back, your centre back will make a tackle and then you've got the ball. And now I want you to see everybody's movements. So boom. Pass, pass, pass. And what, what I really just very briefly just showed is you'll find that your strikers that are on stay central will always be in these two areas. So you can give the ball directly to their feet. So let's say George Best didn't get fouled or tackled here. He'd have it at his feet and immediately he'd have one pass, two pass, three pass and the other striker. So as you can see, everyone's creating like triangles and diamonds to give you passing opportunities. But fortunately, he gets tackled. But look, I win the ball back. Yeah. Ball goes back to George Best. Boom, I'm instantly pausing it. One pass, two pass, three pass. Everyone is just so close to one another. And now you can kind of do what you want. Right here. If I didn't turn into Van Dyke and I turned downwards, I would turn around and I could give it to him, him or George Best as he's coming in. And that would have been a goal again. So these instructions just make really good movement for one another, for short passing. All right, so interception. And this is their positioning to start with and watch the runs. See Neymar, he's cutting inside, he's coming short again. And here... I could look to give it to Neymar, but I see the other winger doing the same. So this is really what I'm trying to show. You've got both wingers 
very close to the middle of the pitch, both making runs on the inside, and the, the come short part means that they're not necessarily just immediately running in behind no matter what, they're kind of also staying in an area where they could receive the ball to feet, not a through ball, ball to feet or give the through ball. I decided I wanted the through ball here, but he gets fouled, otherwise I think he gets on the end of this and scores. So that's really what I'm trying to show here, boys. The runs are amazing, providing that you understand where they're gonna come from and you understand the movement that the wingers are now gonna give you with these instructions. And you have so many passing opportunities in games and that is what's gonna give you the goal, boys. All right, boys, drop a like and drop a comment down below to let me know what you wanna see next on the channel. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Now go and do some damage in your games, boys. Come on.